the moment of truth, the cornering. Okay, I'm going to show you how I do this. Now, uh, this applies equally whether you're using tweed like this or whether you're using a uh, vinyl, uh, Tolex style vinyl. Uh, razor blade, straight edge, uh, and I've got uh, just some ordinary scissors. I'm going to show you a couple of just little, tiny little cuts uh, that are going to make this go around the corner. And I've got my heat gun uh, at the ready within reach. So, my first cut, I have laid the material to where it needs to go on the top of the cabinet. Again, this is the, this is the top flap, uh, top panel style of covering. Pretty much the same thing if you were using uh, like a wraparound style. Uh, it's just your, it might affect your cut a little bit. But anyway, the main thing is to get these cuts for the corners right. So what I want is I want a line using my straight edge that is right on basically the roundover. If you look at the roundover uh, sort of as a uh, whatever a curve, kind of right in the middle of that, new nice sharp razor blade or super sharp X-Acto knife, whatever you're using. It's a little bit funny here because I'm left-handed and kind of going backwards, but anyway. And I'm gonna make a incision that is going to leave a piece that is going to hug basically the uh, the panel, the three-quarter thickness of the panel, and just slightly wrap over the round over. Now this piece that I have left, which is now going to make sure that's flattened down onto the top of the cabinet, like so, I'm going to put some stress on it just to make sure that it stays uh, snug, and now with my razor blade, uh, and this is why I leave, I don't trim this yet, because I want to see the line that goes basically along sort of the round over and the imaginary line that goes under this other piece right to the corner. I am going to, and this is why you need a really sharp uh, cutting tool, is I'm going to line that up and I'm basically going to cut right through, get my fingers out of the way in case I slip, I'm going to cut right through both thicknesses of material down to the wood. If you cut into the wood a little bit, that's just fine. Okay, and then I got a little piece that comes off. So now I have these two pieces that are going to line up. Okay, now when you have a round over, I'm going to have a little nib, kind of like a sharp point, that is not going to um, lie snug. Uh, so here's where I do my two careful little scissor cuts. Okay, so this is now squared, basically like a squared flap. And what I want to do is I want to just go in there and just snip off that little corner that tends to stick out there so that you've got a kind of slightly rounded. And then with this flap, I'm going to pull it up Right, again, the, this is why I don't want my contact cement fully set. And I've got this little point that sticks out here, just kind of at the end of where I made that incision with the razor blade. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just kind of round that off like that. So then I've got kind of a little round, rounded corner there, little rounded corner there. And now the heat gun, kind of optional. You can do this without a heat gun, but it really makes it set a lot better and makes the contour a lot nicer. Again, no hotter than I can stand on my hand, otherwise it's too hot for the material. Uh, if you're using uh, vinyl, it will melt the vinyl if you apply too much heat, so be really careful. Okay, and about like that, just so it's kind of warm. It just uh, loosens it up a little bit. And now I'm pressing with my thumb on the, uh, that little piece that goes along the thickness. And, and very carefully, I'm pressing down the other piece, all the while looking at the seam. And if you practice this and you get your cutting done properly, you should have a nice, clean, perfect corner just like that.
So that's how it's done. Now, at this point, once I've got my corner down, I should have no gap there. Um, if I'm using tweed, I make sure the pattern of my tweed lines up, which it does. That's the point of having everything cut nice and square. And then at this point, I can just cut a line from here and get rid of the excess of that flap now that I no, need, no longer need it to eye things up. And take that off and we're done our first corner. So that's all there is to it.